Welcome back to the Crypto Watch channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and let's get straight into the charts today. This right here is the Bitcoin to US dollar charts on the four hour time frame. And if you're looking in the price oscillators, the RSI is moving out of oversold territory, which is what I spoke about yesterday. Basically, saying we're due for a bit of a short term bounce here because the RSI is oversold. And looking at the last time the RSI was oversold on the four hour chart, we did indeed see a short term bounce. And if you're looking in the four hour Bitcoin MACD, we are coming up to a bullish cross, but we have not confirmed the bullish cross cross just yet because once we see the bullish cross we also need to see at least a four hour candle close to confirm that bullish cross on this time frame but if you're zooming out to the 12 hour bitcoin chart we've also just run into another level of support which was sitting at just below 43,000 US dollars per bitcoin but if you're looking at the short term trend on the 12 hour time frame technically speaking we are still in this short term bearish trend for now because this parabolic stop and reverse indicator is still sitting in the red alongside the price oscillators trending to the downside but if you're bringing out the Fibonacci retracement tool from this swing low back in February up to the recent high. This line of support that I just mentioned is coming in very close to the 38.2% Fibonacci level. So that is definitely an important level of support to pay attention to. And anything below that, I'll be looking towards around 39,000 if we break below around 42,000. And zooming out to the daily time frame, in terms of resistance, we could have some resistance at around 45,000. And of course, that resistance at 48,000 as well. And keep in mind, while the Bitcoin price is below 45, K, we're not looking overly bullish on the bigger picture here because while the Bitcoin price is trading between 45,000 and 39,000, we're actually in this giant sideways consolidation range, which is obviously more of a neutral range. This is basically no man's land where we're not overly bullish or overly bearish on the bigger picture. But obviously, even in a sideways consolidation, we can still have short term bearish and short term bullish trends as well. So basically, the situation at the moment is we're in a short term bearish trend like what we saw back in early March or the middle of February. February, and this will only start becoming much more bearish on the daily chart if we break below around 39,000. And more importantly, if we form a brand new lower low on the daily chart, which we have not done just yet. So for now, when you're talking about the bigger picture, the bigger trends here, we're actually looking not too bad. But in order for Bitcoin to flip much more bullish again on the daily time frame, we need to reclaim that 45k level pretty soon. And just giving you a quick update on the Bitcoin order books across all of these exchanges. And right now, we actually have a lot of buy orders in comparison to the sell orders, which means there's a lot of demand for Bitcoin at these lower $40,000 prices compared to the potential selling pressure if we see a further bounce back to the upside. And another important Bitcoin chart to keep an eye on is this three-day Bitcoin chart. Because if you're looking in the three-day Bitcoin RSI, we're currently getting a rejection from this massive line of resistance. And if you're looking at the last time that happened, that was back in November last year. And obviously after that happened, we saw a lot of bearish price action. But as I mentioned a few days ago, there are some differences between right now and November last year. And one of the main differences is the fact that the three-day Bitcoin RSI is nowhere near overbought territories, whereas back in November, we were sitting in overbought territories. So we had more room to the downside from November compared to right now, we're actually looking quite neutral. So if this rejection in the three-day Bitcoin RSI continues further to the downside, yes, we could see some more bearish price action, but not necessarily as much as what we saw at the end of last year, leading into the beginning of this year. And of course, if we break above that resistance line in the three three-day Bitcoin RSI coming in at around 57 in the RSI, then that would be a signal that we're starting to flip much more bullish again on the bigger picture. And for now, the three-day Bitcoin MACD is still sitting in the green, which is technically a bullish signal, not a bearish signal, but this bullish cost is starting to fade away the longer we stay underneath 45,000. And when you zoom all the way out to the weekly timeframe, the bullish cost in the weekly Bitcoin MACD is still there. And keep in mind, the last time this indicator saw a bullish cross on the weekly timeframe, was back in around August last year. And that basically confirmed a larger bullish trend in the Bitcoin price that lasted for the next few months. But anyway, if you found this video useful or simply enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. And before we click off, if you want to make more money in crypto, whether or not prices are going up, down or sideways, then these two videos popping up right here on your screen are definitely made for you. But anyway, that is it for this update. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.